Well, hello YouTube. Cap Day Sport Fishing, sort of. What am I doing today? Well, I'm going fishing in that right there. No, no I'm not, I'm only kidding. That's a drainage pond next to a bridge. Where we're going is under the bridge. I got my handy dandy inshore plug-in rod with me. Just got done doing lunch with Pops at the China Buffet around the corner from his house. So I'm out here walking it off. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a dislike, I don't care, give it something. Because at this point, YouTube is 100% beyond everything, part of my income. This is the creek that's near my house. If you follow the bouncing fishing rod tip, I go over this bridge, over this creek, and then it goes up over the intercoastal waterway, and then comes down. And then I just make, I make a right to the bait shop or a left to go to the boat ramp. Look at these weeds or whatever growing out of the side of this. Ferns, I just find this fascinating. Every time I come down here, because this is where I always walk, I always want to go to the water. Look at this. There is like a palm of some sort, if you follow the, the bouncing fishing rod. And then you got ferns growing out of a crack. And look up there. That is like marsh grass. I mean, this is just fascinating how... I mean, look how thick this is. Oh my God. That's like a whipweed growing right there in the cracks of the bridge. At this gate is where I announced years ago that I was buying a kicker engine for the back of my boat as a backup engine and as a trolling engine. That's right where I announced it. That was, I had the epiphany. Well, now we're underneath the bridge. People ride around in here in four wheelers and stuff. And there's coon tracks everywhere. And down here at this water here, not necessarily over here because that's just a flooded mud flat. But over here where these pilings are in the water is huge amounts of structure. I was bored and I needed to do a little walk off. Of, so I figured I'd bring you guys down here with me. Not the prettiest place in the world. Underneath bridges, being a bridge troll really never is, is it? And there's no place for me to put the camera when I get down here. This is my GoPro Hero 4. And the wind is blowing right at it. So you may be hearing some wind. We got an osprey whistling like crazy over there. But I know exactly what this bottom does. This bottom goes out for a little bit and drops off. And it's full of snags and everything all between these giant pilings because there's a bunch of construction debris in the water. So I'm gonna give a couple throws and this is really, really, really off the beaten path back here. Now let me show you what I'm gonna be doing here. Here's what I'm gonna throw. This is a Miralure Catch 2000 subsurface suspending bait. Story on this was back in the year 2000. Miralure came out with this mullet simulation big red eyes, the old Popeyes. And I'll tell you, this was sort of amazing. I was fishing a real hot spot that has since been ruined by dredging. And I was with two guys on a 17 foot boat, I 17 foot Carolina skiff I used to charter out of for super inshore. I took this out of the package, one of these out of the package. Miralore Catch 2000 is what it's called. And my first cast, I caught a three pound trout on my first cast. Needless to say, this lure has always had a bit of specialty little spot in my heart. So let's see what it does today. I can see in the water, if you follow the rod, there is concrete rubble there. All right, well, this is a little off topic, but look at this palm or a cactus. I don't know what this is. And look at the, flowers that it's got. Look at this. This big stalk coming up and you can see where stalks came up before. Wow. How would you like to run into this thing at night? It's got pure points right on the end. something already. There's all these old cast nets in here where people are 
throw in cast nets and they don't realize what's out here. I've seen at least two cast nets already. Here's one right here. This is how you get a bunch of lead. Oh, this one's got the fake lead. There's another cast net right over there. All right, I never had a single strike, but then again, this entire area under this bridge is so filled with snags. I don't want to lose my Catch 2000, even though I've got like, I don't know, like 12 of them. I don't want to lose it. So this place is pretty shitty. I'll finish this little foray up here with me and Gary are going to do not a live stream, but we're going to do a Johnny Carson, Ed McMahon type. I think they call it a podcast. That's another one of these made up words on the internet, kind of like Google and Blackberry. And you know what a podcast is? In today's world, they got to make up all these, all these, all these names for everything or a talk show. That's what a podcast is. We're going to do one of those because I am going to do as if I, as I said on my little YouTube short that I did, that was my last radiation day. I mentioned there's going to be an update. So me and Gary are going to do one of those uh, double screens. He's going to be in his man cave. I'm going to be in my wolf den, our nicknames for our little hidey holes. And uh, that's going to be the next video. It's not going to be a live stream. Because I kind of figured live streams, you know, you got people coming in and asking questions and commenting and stuff. And I can tell you, even though I like it, it's a little distracting. We're going to do a little interview show, the Dave and Gary show. So that'll be the next true video. So I'm announcing it here. I hope every gives, everybody gives it a stop by. We'll talk about what he's been doing. Gary is Aura Walk in the comments we've done it before with the live streams so i hope everybody stops by so that's it um just a little update didn't catch nothing throwing the ryoga i got a cover on it right now with a all-star graphite rod six foot six and this is shrink wrap as a matter of fact gary sent me this shrink wrap and this is a rod a very old school IM6 graphite. When's the last time you heard about IM6 graphite? Well, when's the last time you heard about IM6? My dad gave me this rod years and years ago. Still to this day, it's my go-to uh, jig and shrimp and, and lure casting. I've been sitting around too much and I'll explain that when me and Gary do our podcast roadblock okay roadblock got to turn around like i said i'm going to be doing a uh, doing a big update when we do our talk show all right well i'm going to cross this busy road here at navy go home time oh my god the traffic because they got to hurry up and get home and pop that darn bud light <laughs>